my favorite food pun, you know, you, you've got like a taco and it's like, hey dude, uh, what's wrong? Like, do you want to taco about it? And this chip is like, ah, it's not your problem. I arrived in the kitchen, it's all about food puns, and just kind of being silly and weird. What kind of started as food puns uh, morphed into these five episodes that we created for Acre TV. We were calling them vinaigrettes instead of vignettes, and it kind of evolved and, and grew bigger and bigger as it went on. We realized that when we finished the episodes, we still had a lot more stuff that we wanted to do. You know, like, it's a lot of fun, and I think one great way to reach people is through food, and other ways to reach people are through, through humor. You know, food puns are, and just puns in general are something that you kind of don't always see head on, but they're an opportunity for exchange or dialogue or to break the ice. And so to be on the street screen printing pancakes with an image of the Dalai Lama or It's Alive with Nutella was just this opportunity to just get people to think a little bit more. Like Alive in the Kitchen was also an opportunity just to bring elsewhere, elsewhere. It's hard to bring a three-story building full of things around the world with us. So it was this chance to kind of share our ideas and some of the things that we do there, whether it be like playful or silly or awkward or just about food uh, to new audiences and new people. Elsewhere is a living museum uh, set inside a former thrift store in downtown Greensboro, North Carolina. And it was one woman, Sylvia Gray, she collected uh, a bunch of things, had uh, a series of businesses out of there for 60 years and none of her things are for sale. Uh, we invite about 50 or so artists a year from around the world to come and use all the materials in the store to make work and create new ideas and new things and nothing leaves and nothing comes in so it's constantly being reimagined uh, and changed. Part of Elsewhere is this really collaborative community-based thing that is usually really impromptu and really based on just kind of reactive making and acting. We, we took that model to develop something that was more freeform and something that could actually leave the museum itself. And that's kind of how Alive in the Kitchen became what it was today. Play can really be like creative and productive instead of just being kind of like a waste of time or more like something that you do in your downtime. The fact that we were just like in the public realm on a street corner with like this big kitchen bar that we brought from elsewhere um, was just really exciting and an opportunity to meet people that we probably wouldn't ever get to reach or would never hear about elsewhere or would never think about the fact that you can silk screen a pancake. We like to think about art in everything at elsewhere and so putting a little art in your pancakes you know, is kind of great. <laughs> it will probably open doors for larger conversations which is I think um, kind of like what happens with hospitality is that it appears as if it's one thing free food free drinks you know laughter and all of those good things but then it, it's also about connecting <clears throat> the things that we care about as individuals and having bigger um, conversations which can lead to things like collaboration. It's just an opportunity to have a dialogue and you know we're not necessarily trying to push it in any way but just giving people opportunities to think a little bit more and you know food is one of those things is like people have to eat and so inviting people to dinner is a great structure to just having that I guess. You know it's hard to find things that feel universally sort of wholesome and good for people these days and, and food is something that can like warm everyone up a little bit.